Igneous Rocks Objective To learn about igneous rocks, their types and formation. The Earth's crust is made up of different types of rocks. The rocks which make up the maximum volume of the Earth's crust are called igneous rocks. The word igneous has been derived from the Latin word ignis, which means fire. These rocks are associated with volcanic eruptions. Let's study more about igneous rocks and how they are formed. The liquid rock matter that we see coming out from volcanoes is called magma. It is a hot liquid made of melted minerals. When this magma reaches the Earth's surface, it is known as lava. The cooling and the solidification of lava at the Earth's surface result in the formation of extrusive igneous rocks, which are also known as volcanic rocks. Due to rapid cooling, their crystals are fine-grained. However, some of the magma can't come out and settles inside the surface. The magma cools slowly beneath the Earth's surface as it is completely surrounded by the soil and rock present there. The cooling and the solidification of magma at a depth within the Earth's crust result in the formation of rocks having large crystals known as intrusive igneous rocks. So we have learned that igneous rocks are of two types, extrusive igneous rocks and intrusive igneous rocks. It is interesting to know that igneous rocks were the first to be formed and are also known as primary rocks. Pumice and obsidian are extrusive igneous rocks. Pumice is used in making lightweight concrete. And obsidian is used in ornaments. Granite and diorite are intrusive igneous rocks. Both are used as building material. To summarise, igneous rocks are of two types, extrusive igneous rocks and intrusive igneous rocks. The cooling and the solidification of lava at the Earth's surface result in the formation of extrusive igneous rocks. They are also known as volcanic rocks. The cooling and the solidification of magma at a depth within the Earth's crust result in the formation of intrusive igneous rocks.